situation is far worse than any official agency has stated, far, far worse and getting worse by the day. But when you look at frontline data, frontline film footage of eroding shorelines with villages toppling into the sea and ice disappearing, you don't need to believe any official agency. You need to believe your own eyes. And too few people are willing to do that now. More on that later in this broadcast, but they have disconnected their sense of reason and logic and even their sense of vision to believe the official narrative or their own ideology. And that simply does not help our predicament. And we are all in an unimaginable predicament. If we continue on this course, it will very, very soon be game over for all of us. It's a mathematical fact. Another headline. Scientists say expect more than one expect more one thousand year events like the Louisiana flood. Now, here we have, again, our, quote, scientists who won't acknowledge the giant elephant in the room of climate engineering, and yet we're taught to believe those, quote, experts without questioning, just like we're taught to believe the, quote, experts in the medical community who refuse, refuse to look at the data, refuse to question the instructions the medical industrial complex has given them in order to ensure their paychecks and pensions. And this is simply a society of cowards at that point, absolute cowards. But the truth will come out. There will be no hiding it from climate engineering to the massive crimes of the medical industrial complex. The truth will come out. So on the thousand year floods with geoengineering covering the planet, affecting the climate system, and I'm not saying we wouldn't have those floods without geoengineering because the damage done to the climate system now is so horrific and a warmer atmosphere carries more moisture, we will absolutely have immense flooding if and when climate engineering is brought to a stop. But that's the planet trying to cool itself. Hurricanes are still being suppressed in the Atlantic Basin. Does anybody wonder why nothing spins up in the Gulf of Mexico in spite of unimaginably hot temperatures? Louisiana was used for a moisture pump, by the way, to try to help cool some of the eastern and central U.S. So that moisture was allowed to be pumped in the atmosphere, pushed north, and ice nucleated to try to cool down some of the areas that are still superheating. So Louisiana, in many senses, was a climate sacrifice zone that just occurred. And, and you can separate nothing from climate engineering at this point, nothing. Because the whole system is tainted, we can't consider any weather event natural at this point. We can't. 70 years of geoengineering, climate engineering, this historical fact, proven by Senate documents, presidential reports, all of which are on geoengineeringwatch.org. For those who care, look, because your future and your children's future depends on us exposing and stopping climate engineering and a lot of other issues that need to be addressed after that. But climate engineering should be, must be, our first and top priority. Another headline, wildfire burns with ferocity never seen by fire crews. From that report, a wildfire with a ferocity never seen before by veteran California firefighters raced up and down canyon hillsides, instantly engulfing homes and forcing thousands of people to flee, some running for their lives just ahead of the flames. This area burnt my home region where I'm from, in Oak Hills, California. And I've seen that terrain change. It was changing even before I moved away some 18 years ago now, something like that, it was changing rapidly because the entire planet is changing and helping to fuel that change is the deliberate climate intervention programs that are going on, the pharmaceutical approach to planet Earth for the power structure to try to hide the severity of climate damage from the population for as long as possible by using weather as a weapon, which is historical fact, by the way, has radically worsened an already bad climate situation. Another headline, record heat in U.S. Northwest, Southwest Oregon to shatter records at 110 degrees. It's hot everywhere, with few exceptions where there's enough moisture to chemically nucleate and cool things down. So when those in power can make it snow over the pyramids or can kill 30 or 40,000 alpacas in South America with chemically nucleated snow and ice storms, Many people see those headlines and convince themselves, as the quote I read in the beginning of this broadcast states, they convince themselves nothing's wrong. Big mistake. Look at the facts. Another headline. China endures worst heat wave in 140 years. It's from USA Today, by the way. And that heat wave is still enduring. It's been enduring for several weeks. No end in sight. We don't hear about that here, do we? 
Another headline, Japan breaks national heat record. From that report, Japan breaks national heat record. An all-time national heat record was set in Japan on August 12th. Now, these records continue to fall all over the globe. This is not a linear equation. It's a runaway event right now. If there's not a complete change of direction, very soon, people won't be worried about how much gold or silver they have or what kind of new car they're driving. They'll be worried about their next drink of water and their next bite of food as society collapses. A very delicately balanced global society, as soon as the links start falling out of the chain, the chain will completely implode. It will come very quickly and violently. So we see it happening already in countries around the globe. Chaos is ensuing. Biosphere and the climate system, which is the bottom line, as I've stated over and over and over. No habitat, no humans. Very simple. All other considerations are subordinate to the priority of preserving the planet's life support systems. All other considerations are a distraction in comparison. The climate engineers continue to systematically tear apart Earth's climate and life support processes. As overall, global temperatures continue to skyrocket, strategically engineered cooldowns using patented chemical ice nucleation processes are used to confuse and divide the population in regard to the true extent of climate disintegration and the immense threat it poses. The U.S. West and many other parts of the world continue to bake under record high temperatures. Skies continue to be constantly contaminated with the climate engineering jet aircraft sprayed aerosol particle dispersions, all of which we get to inhale, by the way. Does anyone even stop to wonder what happened to blue skies? The climate engineers continue to completely cut off the flow of moisture to the U.S. West and countless other parts of the world. They, the climate engineers, decide where it rains, where it does not, and how toxic that rain will be. On that note, for those that live in the Shasta County, Reading area, or for that matter, countless places across the country and around the world, does anyone even notice that there are trees all over the city, not all trees, but many trees, that are fully foliated with stone dead leaves. And those leaves will hang there until new leaves come out in the spring. This is absolutely, completely, and totally unnatural. What's causing these leaves to die and hang on the trees? And it appears that in specific rains in the fall, because the temperatures are not getting cold enough, in fact, where I live, have not had a below freezing temperature. On my area, 2,000 foot elevation on the east side of Lake Shasta, I have not had a single below freezing temperature here all winter long. You used to get them in October, not one. The leaves on my trees here are also hanging dead on the tree. This is not a result of the abscission hormone releasing the leaf from the tree because it's cold. Something else is going on, and it appears in the last seven plus years that at a particular rain in the fall, some sort of defoliant is being used in the mix to force the trees into dormancy. Why would they do this? because it creates the illusion of winter for people who are not that observant, for people who forgot. Leaves used to fall whole from the tree in the fall, discolored but whole, and the trees would certainly be bare all winter, not foliated with stone dead leaves, as you can find all over Reading, all over other locations across the country and across the world. We are trying to, with some samples we have, have testing done to find out what's in the mix in these fall rains. If it's some sort of dioxin, Agent Orange, for example, for people who don't think this can be done, one, the fruit farmers in the California valleys have been using such chemicals to force their fruit trees into dormancy for years. Why? Because it's not cold enough. And anyone who thinks this can't be done on a much more massive scale simply is unaware of the facts. Our military was defoliating jungles in the 60s. How much further well, have they come since now that we have tankers like mm -hmm. KC-135s that at lower altitudes can carry 100 tons? Yes. Anyone who thinks that defoliation can't be done on such a massive scale is simply, again, unfamiliar with the facts. So regard, really regarding the geoengineer's ability to completely cut off precipitation, as they've done in California, they're doing again right now. The drought is back. For those who don't know this or understand this, it's very severe, getting worse by the day, and no rain in sight, no significant rain in sight. They can also drop other elements in that precipitation. We know 
the toxic elements are there again from almost 70 lab tests in Shasta, Siskiyou County alone. There's mm -hmm. a mountain of toxic materials coming down in our rain, and we don't know fully what's in that rain. We're trying to discover, but unless you know what you're testing for, it's difficult to find. Bottom line is geoengineers decide where it rains, where it does not. And anyone who looks up in the skies in Northern California or countless other locations and doesn't realize something is going on, something radical, something horrific, you're very disconnected from reality. That's the fact of the matter. What's the latest psychological operation being carried out by the climate engineers? This man chemicals in a particle form. The government is using harm to be starting a storm. The water shortages.